Born Harbour cycles can be used to break down the various energy changes that take place when we try to dissolve an ionic substance in water. The overall energy change is called the enthalpy change of solution. That corresponds to taking one mole of an ionic substance and dissolving it in water. To do that we have to break down the giant ionic lattice, which takes an amount of energy equal to the lattice enthalpy. Then we have to allow the separated ions to surround themselves with water molecules and form bonds to those water molecules, which releases energy. The energy released when a mole of individual gaseous ions does this and becomes aqueous ions is called the enthalpy change of hydration of that ion. We can combine these steps in a born harbour cycle and use it to work out any one of the energy changes from the given values of the others. We'll start with one mole of the solid ionic substance, which in this case is silver chloride. We'll give that an energy of zero and work out all the other energy changes compared to this one. Now we need to break the lattice and form one mole of each individual gaseous ion. That's the opposite process to forming the lattice, so we'll draw the arrow downwards from ions to solid. Now we need to hydrate one mole of silver ions, so that's the enthalpy of hydration of Ag+. And then we need to hydrate one mole of chloride ions, so that now we have both sets of ions in the aqueous solution. The enthalpy change from the solid to the aqueous ions is the enthalpy change of solution. Now we can write in the values for the energy changes. Remember to check if any of them need multiplying if you have more than one mole. I like to use these values to work out the energy of each level by adding the energy changes along the arrows. So the separate gaseous ions are plus 890, then minus 464.4 brings it down to plus 425.6, and minus 384.1 brings it down to 41.5. So the enthalpy change of solution is from 0 to plus 41.5, so 41.5 kilojoules per mole silver chloride. Not all enthalpy changes of solution are positive. It depends on whether the lattice enthalpy is smaller or larger than the enthalpy changes of hydration, and that in turn depends on the charge densities of the individual ions. If the enthalpy change of solution is positive, that is endothermic, we can say that dissolving is not energetically favourable. And we know from our test for halide ions that when we add silver ions, the silver chloride precipitate that forms is insoluble.